The new gate opening. Give it to me. Starting off strong. All right, it's already better than Remonster. That's a good thing. Build up time. Ooh, the silver elf that's gone missing. The other elf that we risked up. Holy shit, bro is showing more cleavage than all the girls we've met so far. <laughs> the receptionist girls. Ooh, the princess. Here comes the beat drop. Woo! Yeah, even the beat drop, the course is pretty good. Uh oh, Lolly incoming. It's pretty catchy. Minimum 7 out of 10 opening. And again, if it's better than Remonster, it's already done its job. Ending time! Sounded like a chill ending. Got the moon for the moon sanctum. Uh-oh. PowerPoint presentation visuals incoming. I'm gonna stick with Nephi. Unless Shni shows me something more. I wonder why it's called a moon sanctum, you know? What is the significance of moon? Dude, this entire ending is just Shni. Shni waiting for her master to return. But like, you know, 500 years has passed. Oh, is Aruji here? Is it Aruji? Baited. This ending is actually really sad. Oh, that's a lot of legs. Oh, mm. just keeps fluttering. So the real romance is between Shni and the main character, maybe? That's a nice ending. Like, the entire ending visual seems to hint that, like, this is Shni waiting for her master to return ever since the disappearance after the, you know, the people logged off and 500 years has passed, right? So it's pretty sad, but pretty chill ending. I liked it.